I, I want to make it absolutely clear that I in no way minimise the importance of this fine. Uh, I, I am heartily sorry for my mistake and I uh, accept completely uh, the decision of the police. Uh, of course, uh, I'm sorry if any uh, words of mine have been so taken out of context and uh, so misconstrued as to cause uh, any kind of anxiety for the family of Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe. Of course I am. Of course I am. On a, on a point of order, uh, you will be aware, Mr Speaker, that the Committee on Standards has today published a report on nine payments, mainly uh, unexpected foreign royalties, which I am very sorry to say were recorded late on the Register of Members' Interests. I fully accept that the delay was a breach of the House's rules, and though I am grateful to the Committee uh, that, for recognising that there was no intention to mislead the House and that I have been completely transparent, I therefore offer the House a full and unreserved apology. <laughs> I, I certainly take full responsibility for everything the government uh, did and, uh, of course, uh, we mourn uh, the loss of every single uh, coronavirus victim uh, and uh, we sympathise deeply with their, with their families. Of course, I'm deeply, uh, deeply sorry, Mr Speaker, and of course there will be uh, time uh, for a, a full inquiry to enable us all uh, to understand uh, what we need to do better uh, when we face these problems in the future. I want to express my deepest gratitude to Sue Gray and all the people who have contributed to this report, which I have placed in the Library of this House. But firstly, I want to say sorry. And I'm sorry for the things we simply didn't get right, and also sorry for the way that this matter has been handled. Uh, I'm very, very sorry for misjudgments that may be made in, uh, by me or anybody else in Number 10 uh, and the Cabinet Office.